Mind the gap. So it's getting more and more entertaining each week. A 3-0 win, brushing aside Sheffield United, who rode earlier in the season, of course, beat us at Bramble Lane. But they didn't turn up at all today, and Wolves really, really played well and completely controlled the game from minute one. They had a really bright start, ending or culminating in Nevis' fine goal to open the score in after five minutes. Beautifully placed into the top corner in a way that only he can, and he really is showing that he's a cut above the rest of the championship. From that moment then, there was a bit of a lull in the game. Wolves didn't create many chances, but Sheffield United didn't make anything happen at all. Until then, a fine little move, lovely bit of passing between Cavaliero and Jota to make the second goal. Personally, my favourite goal of the day. A little quick passing in such a short space, and then Jota showing such composure to just knock it onto his left foot and pass it into the corner. Perfect, perfect goal. I love goals like that. So I made a few notes at half-time and the main word, and I've already mentioned it, is composure. Not just in front of goal, but all around the pitch. There were a few moments where we'd lost possession and I was gasping or screaming, thinking, oh no, we're going to throw it away. But we've got players like Willy Bolly, even Connor Cody on the ball now is so assured and so confident and so composed all the time. They're able to just get themselves out of trouble and move on. So in the second half, carried on in that same sort of vein, Wolves having a lot of possession, but not really making many chances. But... Sheffield United didn't do anything at all in the second half. They'll be really disappointed, I think, with the way that their team played in the second half. They didn't get the ball into the box. John Ruddy didn't, I don't remember him touching the ball much with his hands. A couple of times the ball would roll back to him. That was he. He had absolutely nothing to do all, all game. So then in the 72nd minute, all of the action in the second half happened, really. Uh, long ball at the top to Jota who was clattered by the goalkeeper outside of the box, who was correctly sent off. They then had to bring on their substitute goalkeeper, and Wolves scored from the resulting free kick through a deflected Ivan Cavallero free kick, who then straight away was taken off, and on came Benikafobi, who was so desperate to score, he was so desperate to come on as well, saw him sprinting up and down that little uh, touchline before he did come on, and then he was desperate to get the ball, Always coming short for it, he made an excellent tackle as well, coming back really, really deep to get the ball. And he showed his eagerness uh, and came very, very close with a header. Bonatini as well had a shot that just went wide of the post. But fantastic performance again all round from everybody. Particular highlight for me was the way that Morgan Gibbs White played when he came on. Really showed that he's a real, real, you know, potential talent. Um, at the age of 18, uh, the confidence that he's got and the skill and the ability that he's got at the moment is fantastic and I'm sure that he will go on to be a Premier League player in the future. So, another win, 68 points now, moving towards the magic 90 that I predicted a couple of weeks ago. Let me know what you thought about today's game. Drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the week for another video. Goodbye. Mind the gap.